Hello YouTube Vintage Stereo Restorers and Collectors and Appreciators. I want to thank everyone um, for all the great comments on the last video I did about um, being an audio tech, electronic tech in this day and age. It was really uh, good to see a lot of like-minded individuals and people had very similar experiences and still like doing this stuff. That's what counts. Thanks. I wanted to mention just a very little thing. Um, anybody that's worked on Canadian market stereo equipment from the 60s, 70s, not so much in the 80s, the standards changed. But here's something from the very late 60s. And this one was one that was sold through uh, Perfect Manufacturing Supplies in Montreal. It has a stamp on the back. And there's one thing that's uniquely different about it. There's a resistor, a 1 megohm or whatever it is, 10 megohm. I gotta be honest, I've always had a little bit of trouble with the resistor color code. You know, like I've been using it so much and I know the rhyme. What is this thing? Okay, it's a one main. All right. <laughs> anyway, why is that between one side of the line cord and ground? Well, it's to create an artificial ground. For some reason, the Canadian Standards Association back then thought this was a good idea. Well, it actually wasn't. It means there's always some leakage Especially if the cord's in the wrong way to your chassis. And that's just not a great idea in my opinion. We can actually figure out how much. I'm just going to plug this in. And uh, put it on AC volts. And on the ground. So. Well. 36 volts AC. It's not enough to harm you, but it doesn't make sense. And especially if your other stuff isn't grounded. That means that this ground is now on the negative, on the outside of your RCA jacks. Going to your turntable, going wherever. And I always put a ground at my system. See, if you actually turn the plug, and see this is a 50-50 chance, right? With it in that way, it's 30 something. With it in that way, nothing. Um, just get rid of it. So that the chassis is floating. But, at my stereo installation, wherever I'm, something I've been doing for years. Um, I remember one time going to a place where they had dances, that kind of stuff, a hall. And the store I was had put in the system and People were getting shocks off of the front panels of the amp and the cassette deck. I think cassettes, right? And so I was sent out there to see what's going on. So I took my meter and I found the front panel had 120 volts between there and ground. And, uh, well, how was that? The resistor was sloppily installed. And in, you actually ended up where, where it was is the hut side was touching a screw right from the factory. I think it was a um, Rotel. Anyway, that was something the Canadian Standards Association thought was a good idea. And I have an earth ground, like you can either take it, I mentioned this in other videos, from a water pipe or back to a ground screw. Like I have a trip light downstairs at my main system that has a ground screw on it bring all the components to there and you'll find especially with your turntable there won't be a whisper of hum I'm gonna get rid of this dude goodbye yes it's unplugged thanks for watching and listening